going to want to be uh, getting your hands on those is let's get right to it. Let's kick off Friday Night Football number 36, sponsored by our new friends over at Rocket Mortgage. And we got our Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash. Uh, this this game, it adds a little more weight with that little Blitz Cash. It is Jay Bird taking on last week's champion, Saint. Uh, and uh, this is a matchup. You know Jay Bird hungry to get that 1K only in round number one. Yeah, Jay Bird said he was so thrilled to see the draw. As you guys know, Saint was our champion last week, beat Chaos 14 to 10 in a great final matchup. Uh, he had a tough uh, tough road to the finals last week. He beat Timor. He also beat Scheman. He also uh, was able to defeat... Um, he was also defeat Ish, uh, also Canes as well. It, it was a great run by Saint. Now this week, he has that $1,000 bounty placed on his head. Every single player that will face him in this tournament has an opportunity to win $1,000. And it starts with Jay Bird. And I'll tell you what, this game right now, this play style, run heavy game, that fits Jay Bird. If you guys remember him from last year, he ran that, uh, that deuce close, the wham all game long. So he is somebody that likes to control the clock and play defense, which is the perfect strategy for Madden 20. Boy, is then you want to talk about a play that looks so different from Madden 19 to Madden 20. How about a halfback wham? So good for really two to three Maddens that motion with the tight end. They changed it a little bit. Doesn't seem nearly as effective this Madden. No, certainly not. Uh, the runs this year, as you guys know well, are the dive and the stretch. Getting a fullback on the field, that's something we have not seen in recent years. Uh, first year in a long time that I can recall that you had a fullback on the field. A, a large number of players do anyways. Uh, I go back to Madden 10, the off-tackle year from goal line. That's the last time I really recall a fullback. Maybe Madden 25 with the Saints halfback zone as well. But uh, very rare, usually. Oh, how about fourth and one and picking up the first down? A little bit of a, a passing attack. Was that an actual pass here in Madden 20? Rodgers finding Cooks over the middle. And this is uh, Saint looking to uh, punch it in from the 19-yard line, continuing his drive and looking to go back-to-back. -back. Yeah, Saint, a uh, player that... A lot of players did not expect to make a deep run in last week's tournament. He's been a very good player this year, though. Uh, if you've been keeping your ear to the pavement in this community, he's been doing a very good job. Uh, he's been doing well on the salary cap leaderboards. And, uh, you know, his game right now is what you're seeing. He's running the ball. You see right there, Gail Sayers only seven rushes for 16 yards. But that is his style. He's going to do what works in this game, and he's done it well this year. Hey guys, we'll get uh, there right there. I was about to say we'll get those names flipped. It's now correct. Saint the New York Giants, Jaybird, the Oakland Raiders. Uh, and here we go. It is Saint with the ball at the 23 yard line. Loss of four on first down. Let's see what it does here. A little eye tight. Rodgers under center. Sayers in the backfield. Use chick now splits out to the left side. Second and 14. Handoff. Sayers stretch run left side. And how about the usering right there from Jaybird with Pat Tillman able to bring down Sayers for a two yard gain? Yeah, the master Pat Tillman. A lot of players love him. The first time in a long time you see competitive players saying, how do I finish my solos? What's the best solo to do to get this guy? I need to get him powered all the way up. I need to get that enforcer. Players love the enforcer ability in the competitive community because you can basically get those guaranteed tackles on hit sticks. A lot more fumbles will occur with those enforcer players. And here we go, a third and 12. See how aggressive Saint decides to be. So we're nearing the end of the first quarter already. Rogers dropping back to pass on third and 12. Not a whole lot of pressure, and he's just going to throw this one away. Didn't see what he liked downfield, and it appears that Saint's going to settle for a field goal uh, here early in round number one. Saw right there, that was a really good coverage call by Jay Bird. He went with a strong flood to the wide side of the field. Backside, he went with a wheel route to the running back. You saw that Jay Bird was kind of baiting that throw out of the backfield. Looked like he was going to play over to the bunch side, loop back to the running back. You saw right there that Saint did the smart thing and uh, took his three. Great defense there by Jay Bird. As Jay Bird's going to get the ball, Pollard returns to the 25-yard line. Let's give a big shout-out to everybody hanging out with us in the chat tonight. You guys are awesome. Keep it rolling. Uh, drops are active, as far as I know. They are active. Uh, and uh, uh, I see everybody's talking about that Ed Reed card, Zan. People are pumped about the ability to put the legend on their team. You're either an Ed Reed guy or you're a Jamal Adams guy. 
that goes back to last year as well. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either player. Mudd is always in a great spot with sh- strong safeties most years. Um, I would actually like to see Ed Reed move to the free safety. I remember him, at least when I watched football growing up, I remember him playing you know, that center field with uh, Chuck Pagano and the Rex Ryan defenses. But uh, in Madden, plays that strong safety role. Either way, you could play him at either spot and be just fine. Ed Reed and Larry Little, that is two great cards, two great legend reveals here on Friday Night Football. Uh, as we appreciate each and every one of you in the chat, uh, Miami boy, with the two months of subscribing, appreciate it. Uh, and again, guys, uh, if you hit that sub button, button, we certainly do appreciate it. It helps us continue to put on Friday Night Football each and every week. Uh, but if you don't use your sub here, make sure you at least use your sub with another one of the Madden community streamers. Keep the game growing. Keep the streaming community growing. Second and five for Jay Bird. He's looking to get that $1,000 blitz cash from Rocket Mortgage. Sayers outside, first down, and a little more to the 38-yard line. Kansas City Comet on the outside zone. A lot of players that love the Oakland Raiders playbook. They're going to be running the I-form close. They're going to be running the strong close. They're going to be running uh, the single back wing close flex. But actually, I think right now we're seeing Jaybird in the New Orleans Saints offense, which is I-form close and then the I-form uh, flex, the slot flex formation. Two very good uh, formations. We saw A dot last week run the slot flex and beat Clef for that $1,000 bounty. Well, big shout out to Vise J.O. with the sub, as well as Dryerhurst with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. First and 10 for Jay Bird. Motions cooks left to right, then right to left. He's getting his cardio in early. One second on the play clock and a timeout taken. That d- didn't look like he was getting the look that he wanted out of that eye formation. I think right there, uh, we actually saw Saint burn that time. Uh, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry about that. Both players have used one timeout. Yeah, yeah right it was there, tough to uh, see maybe that timeout general. get taken off with that gray background. I'm like... Oh, yeah, there's one missing. Yeah, uh, it, you see that uh, probably did an accidental motion right there and put him in a spot where he couldn't snap the ball in time. That receiver that motioned at the last second was on the line of scrimmage, meaning that he needed to set for a second before he snapped it. So uh, not the end of the world in the first half. Most players don't use all three timeouts early in the game. A little really pass, good route combo crossing right route. That was Harrison with the catch to the 40-yard line. Flashback to Madden 19. The crossing route is money as Jay Burt into opposing territory. Really like that call right there by Jay Bird. Went with the streak route, pulled the deep zone away on the short side of the field. Then the crossing route running from the wide side to the short side gets underneath of that, but still deep enough to stay over the top of the cloud flat for the first down. Yeah, the people in the chat, they're super excited about Rocket Mortgage. Uh, they're all looking for that uh, that that mortgage giveaway. They want Rocket to give away a house or something. I, I love it. We don't have it tonight, but who knows? You never know what will happen as Friday Night Football continues to grow. But a big shout-out to Rocket Mortgage for coming on and being a sponsor for Friday Night Football. Second and six for Jaybird looking for that $1,000 Rocket Mortgage Blitz cash. Two wide receivers, Gail Sayers at the top of the eye. Looks like he's going to bring Cooks in motion from the left side over to the right side. And he's going to stretch run to the left side. And there were a lot of blue jerseys over there. Gail Sayers, nowhere to go. Third and 11. Great stretch defense right there. That's been the defense that it has been a very meta defense since Joke brought it to the community. Of course, Joke dominating this year in Friday Night Football. Uh, that 3-4 odd where you blitz those inside linebackers and get them to shoot the B-gap against the I-form close. Um, it's going to be tough to live that way against this defense if you're going to run the I-form close formation. There are runs, however, that do a good job of getting positive yardage against that style of run defense. It's just not going to be your stretch calls. On here we go, third and eleven, and this is if you're playing this meta against this meta with the run uh, being so heavy, you want to get as much uh, the offense into these third and longs. Make it tough, make them think whether to pass, whether to continue to try to attack with that run game. Two tight ends over to the right side, two wide receivers to the left side, single back formation. Kale Sayers in the backfield, Harrison coming in motion from left to right, and see the defense adjusting, trying to get all the pieces in the right position. Rogers dropping back to pass. Rush picked up nicely, rolls out, left side. He's got X, he's got him, dotty dot, dot to Harrison to the 14-yard line. I'm having deja vu, Zan, because that looks like the same play he picked up a first down with earlier in the drive. Very similar route combination. You're going to send somebody vertical down the short sideline, then you're going to bring that crossing route that stays underneath the deep zones from the wide side. What I liked what he did on that play, though, is he also had a flat and a wheel combo to the wide side. He kept that user at bay, couldn't stay on that post route for fear of giving up the wheel route for a huge gain out of the backfield. 
I just saw somebody in the chat ask, uh, has there always, oh, Billy Shears, has there always been no game audio on these broadcasts? It depends on if the uh, the streamer is uh, has game audio. If we have it, we will use it, and we prefer it. But uh, 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 Jaybird streaming this one doesn't have any game audio on. Second down and nine, I formation one more time. Two wide receivers split wide to the left. Gale Sayers at the top of the I formation as we are under. Oh, look at Sayers. Stretch run, tries to spin back inside. Good tackle by Kenny Houston right there. Timeout taken by Saint. And uh, Zan, this is the epitome of why this, this meta is so tough because with so much run game, the games get short. We're looking, this is only our second possession of the first half, and the first half's almost over. It reminds me a lot of the old school Maddens. Uh, we're not playing with the two minute play clocks, but what a lot of players that used to play back in the Best Buy era, when you travel to the NFL stadiums across the country, uh, you would wait in line for hours to play your game, and then you would play a two minute quarter game. Basically, it feels like you have to make the most out of your one, maybe two possessions of the ball game if you're going to win. It, it kind of feels that way this year in Madden 20 because we've seen a lot of players go on prolific drives, six, seven, sometimes eight minute drives in Friday Night Football. Fourth and inches for Jaybird for the stretch Great run. And run State dude. says, well, I don't want to give you that 1K in blitz cash. How about the gap shooting there by Saint? And now with a minute two to go, he has a chance to extend his lead. Great defense right there. Devin White, the rookie linebacker out of LSU, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Speaking of Tampa Bay Bucks, Clef the God with the five-month resub. Appreciate you, Clef. Thanks for dropping by, man. A four-time champ. How about Clef in the uh, in the building? And that's why, Zim, that's why I love the Mudhead community because even when guys aren't in Friday Night Football, they're showing up to the broadcast because they want to see competitive Madden continue to grow. And right now, Saint, the defending Friday Night Football champion, he's looking to extend his lead. 30 seconds and counting. Yeah, going to be tough sledding right here. We know how tough it is this year. Uh, no huddle runs off a little bit of extra time now in salary cap mode. Really tough to make these 30-second drives that we've become accustomed to Woo! over the past few years. John Ross with the catch, but there's not enough time left. We're going to go to halftime. It is three to nothing. Saint on top. It has been all defense so far. And how about the 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 big play of the first half, Zan? Saint getting the stop fourth and in inches on the four-yard line for Jay Bird, and he is unable to pick up the first down, let alone punch it in the end zone. I've heard a player in the community, one great user, as well as many other players out there, say that you can't win a game with your play call decision at halftime, but you can lose a game with your play call decisions at halftime. Right there, I'm a little bit curious why Jay Bird decided to pass up the three with the ball coming out of half with a chance to make it a full one possession lead. Maybe played a little bit greedy right there, looking for seven right before half and then probably playing for the touchdown after half. Now he's in a scenario where he's going to have to get a stop in the second half no matter what he does with this drive. Couple of shout outs to uh, the subs we're seeing coming as Gail Sayers has some room on the left side. Pass midfield down inside the 45 to the 44 yard line. Raider EZ with a Twitch Prime sub. Real three with the two months of subscribing with Twitch Prime. And Andy Tree with the six months of subscribing. Appreciate all of our supporters out there. Even if you're not a subscriber, just following the channel. Make sure you can win those giveaways and continue showing up each and every week. We do appreciate it as Jaybird able to come out of halftime and pick up a big run with Gail Sayers. Can't begin to express enough to our community out there in the Twitch chat how much we appreciate your support week in and week out. I know when Bugs sat down for Friday Night Football number one, casting by himself, we Ooh. did not foresee this taking off to the point that it's gotten to. And uh, I'm very excited about the future of what uh, is to come here at FNF. Uh, you know, it seems like we've already kind of taken over competitive Madden by a storm, but uh, it's really just the beginning. So thank you so much to everybody. Three nothing Saint on top here in this Blitz Cash Rocket Mortgage game. If Jaybird's able to win this, he'll pocket a thousand dollars taking out last week's champ. I that was great. That that was a that was a Nathan Peterman style throw. I like the play design right there, but you saw the defense sent so many players that you couldn't actually release the tight end downfield. There was nobody in the middle of the field on that delay fade out of the backfield. But in order to get him open, you had to give a free runner at the quarterback. And you saw right there, Rodgers had to rush that throw. And now Jaybird facing a third and 13. That decision not to take a field goal. That could come back to bite him down by three here in round number one of Friday Night Football number 36. It is Rodgers under center, two wide, split left, two tight ends on the right side of that formation. Gail Sayers in the backfield. Splits out Pollard. Rodgers dropping back. Rush picked up nicely. He's looking to that little corner round. That is Harrison one more time to the 22-yard line. Three for four, 72 yards. And Zan, it's all been picking up key third downs. 
He's done a good job on third down. It makes me wonder why he's running the ball so much with Gale Sayers. We saw early in the first half at 1.7 rushes for 16 yards. His passing offense looks good. He's actually in the single back wing stack. We just released an offensive game plan on this formation on Playbook GG today. It's a very, very good offense. Reminds you a lot of the single back wing close flex out of the Raiders playbook, but you're much better off against the uh, when you need to throw. And we've seen that Jay Bird, when he needs to throw, has been able to do so. First and 10 now for Jay Bird inside the 25 of the 22-yard line. See what he decides to do here as we get closer to the end zone. He'll split Harrison wide right and Cooks alone on the left side. As Rodgers drops back to pass, waiting, looking. Doesn't like what he sees. There's nobody there. Wait for there. that fade. Wait for the fade. Oh, and he throws yeah. it away. He, he, he just kept fading. He kept fading towards the sideline. Had to chuck it out of bounds. You can see the icon over his A tight end that says release. What he's trying to do is get that tight end into a spot where he taps the button to release him on the route, and then he just kind of shovels it to him over the middle for a huge gain. He hasn't done it yet, but I'm waiting for that moment. Now a second and 10. Why not give it to Gale Sayers right up the middle? Not a whole lot there. Zan, AMG40 in the chat asks, what playbook or playbooks have single back wing stack? Uh, the wing stack is in a number of playbooks. The one that you're seeing right now is the New Orleans Saints playbook, which is the one that boasts the dive and the stretch. So obviously you guys know competitive Madden is about establishing the run and passing off of your run concepts. The Saints is the only playbook in the game that has wing stack with the dive and the stretch. And now third and eight, another third down for Jaber down by three in the round number one. Rodgers drops back to pass. Three-man rush picked up. Rodgers rolling right, waiting. Throws it back across his body. Almost picked up by Lattimore instead. Harrison with another huge catch on third down. And Jay Bird in business at the three-yard line. Probably should have been intercepted right there. You saw you had Tillman and Lattimore right there. Cover two defense. Cloud flat poached that route really well, but somehow Marvin Harrison comes down for it. That's huge. But again, we saw a great goal line stand. Let's see if Saint has another one in him. First and goal, stretch run, Sayers uh, almost got off that blocker on the edge. Sayers fighting forward, picks up two, second and goal from the one. Hurry up offense for Jaybird. He's going to look to punch this one in. You got to think it's going to be four touches for Sayers if we have seen anything from Jaybird and this offense. Here comes Cooks in motion to the right side. He's going to run it to the right side, cuts up field, and Sayers into the end zone. Jaybird, he can taste that 1K Rocket Mortgage blitz cash in his pocket. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. As 7-3, the score, and Jaybird scores on his fall. What about this return from Hill? Look at him still going near midfield to the 46-yard line. Jaybird on his first drive out of halftime, able to put a touchdown on the board. Now let's see if Saint can do the same thing, Zan. You know he's looking to go back-to-back -back and pocket that blitz cash for himself. A lot of pressure on Saint right now. Uh, Clef talked about it earlier in his chat today when he was streaming some weekend league. He talks about added pressure of having this bounty on you. The fact that you know you can walk away with $2,000 for winning the tournament and collecting your own bounty. Saint's got to be going through it right now. But going back to that last drive, uh, you saw Jaybird punches it in for the touchdown. You just think, what if? What if Jaybird takes his three to end the first half instead of going for it? Uh, the most important thing about competitive Madden is those bookend scores. You get the Last score of the first half, the first score of the second half, you take all the momentum. Right now, he only got about half of that momentum that he'd worked on. And there's and Sayers right go. side. He got a great block, and he's in open space. Oh, uh, Sayers, my name. He's into the end zone, and Saint back on top. Chicago Bears running backs, huh? And, uh, Gail Sayers item, one of the most popular running backs in the game. You can put the jukebox on him. You, basically, right now, you've got one of probably four running backs in salary cap. You're either running full bruiser Bo, you're running armbar Jim Brown, you're running Dalvin Cook, or you're running this Gail Sayers that you're seeing right here as Saint takes the lead. No one's running Frank Gore? <laughs> no, no, no Frank oh. Gore. I was just checking. He's been around a long time. As nice tackle by White. Uh, and and Zan, from a from a mindset perspective, you're playing for this one thousand dollars. If you're Jaybird, you're trying to knock out Saint, the defending champ. You get a touchdown, that big elation of going back on top, and then you give up a big score right back the other way very quickly. What does that do to your psyche? 
It's really tough because stopping the run in Madden 20 is a commitment. It's literally a lifestyle. You have to stay in sound run defense all the time. And even when you do, there are just times where the run breaks. Uh, and to have a trying drive like that and then give up the first place score coming back the other way, uh, it can be really demoralizing. So he's going to have to have come up with another big drive right here after just finishing and showing a lot of his offense on the previous drive. A big shout out to some of these subs coming in. Ursaring to KO25 with the three months of subscribing. As uh, taking a shot He's over the top, him. he might have him with Cooks driving in the bucket. Ah, Brandon Cooks is cooking into the end zone. Jay Bird responding with a touchdown to go back on top. Great call right there. Went with the quick snap. He had the streak. Split the cover three right there. You saw the outside third, outside leverage. He had the safety in center field, and Brandon Cooks just split them both right down the seam. You saw right there he's running that crossing route, that same crossing route he hit underneath so many times in the first half. You start to get Marcus Lad or uh, Lattimore peeking at that route. You're able to fit the throw over the top there to Cooks. That was a great play design by Jaybird to answer that quick score by saying. Big shout out. I'm telling you, he can pass out of this playbook. He, he's shown it so far. Big shout out to TK with a gift to Yoshi is great. 160 gift subs for TK. Fitz Magic with the two months of subscribing as well as uh, Zenpai with the sub. Appreciate all you guys uh, in the chat supporting Friday Night Football. We got ourselves a pretty darn good game here for that $1,000 in Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash. Can Jay Bird knock out the defending champ? Saint with the ball down by four, 19 seconds remaining in the third quarter and a little stretch run for Gale Sayers. Uh, he was just a little late cutting that up field. Looked like he might have been dancing as we'll hit zeros on the clock, which means fours up in the chat. We got fourth quarter action, five minutes to go. Can Jay Bird pocket a cool 1K by knocking out the defending champ? This is the best. I'm telling you, with the Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash, we have $1,000 games on deck until the previous week's champion loses. This is going to give you so much more pressure throughout the tournament. It's mentally taxing. I mean, it's mentally taxing to watch, but I love it. I mean, even, even in this game, back and forth affair, uh, you just see that you, you've got pressure the whole way between these two players, and it's going to be like this until midnight Eastern time tonight. Big shout out to Mad Max 7303 with a Twitch Prime sub for two months. Appreciate it as the fours are up in the chat. If you are a sub to Friday Night Football right here on Mudhead TV, you got that four emo. So throw it up third and four. And Jay Bird's defense coming up big. And how about a fourth and three? Can Jay Bird repay the stop that Saint got earlier and get a stop himself here on the 34 yard line? Huge play right here for Jay Bird. You get this turnover on downs, you're in field goal range. This is a potential game-winning play right here. Let's see what he goes with. A little nickel versus the bunch here with the game on the line. Uh, gun bunch. It's Madden 19. Rogers driving back on fourth and three. Pressure up the middle. Let's it go. Looking for use chick down the field. But Jay Bird's defense standing tall. And Jay Bird now with the ball back. 408 to go. And an opportunity to possibly ice this game and put that $1,000 in Rocket Mortgage Blitz cash in his pocket. Great defense right there by Jaybird. You saw that Saint whip with, went with all vertical routes, no checkdowns on that play. And he had to throw the ball up to a fullback playing tight end with the game on the line. That's a tough way to live. Sayers, nowhere to go. Timeout taken already. Saint thinking about some clock management as he'll take the timeout with four or three to go. Saints played very good run defense. That's the one saving grace right here. As Jaybird tries to milk this clock out, he's going to have to do it through the air. It has not been the run game for him. And as a run first player, he's looked mighty good throwing the ball. Uh, a lot of people gave him crap last year for running wham over and over, but he's shown a proficiency passing the ball from these run sets. And another good stop by Saint. Not taking a timeout here on second down. Letting the clock run 14 to 10 the score. And this is where Jaybird has been actually very successful in this game. He's uh, hit a couple passes. Will he look to throw the ball again on third and 10? It's going to be a stretch run for Sayers. Ah, oh, Sayers picked up a block. Ball's out. Oh, he went for the hurdle. It's picked up by Saint. He gets the stop. No points given up. Gail Sayers putting the ball on the ground. Zan, what happened right here out of that hurdle? He gets absolutely body slammed. 
That's the one weakness of Gale Sayers right there. I think that was an auto hurdle animation. You saw that one of the players fell down on the ground in front of Gale Sayers. Sometimes that will trigger the, the running back to auto hurdle over them. But as you guys know, if you guys hurdle in this game, there is a chance that if you get caught in air, that ball's coming out. And that's exactly what happened right there. Oh, how about the big defensive play? People ask if there are drops right there. Gale Sayers dropped the ball and now Saint. Could that have saved? Could that have kept Saint alive for getting his own one thousand dollars blitz cash? We'll see if he can cash in this drive as he's looking to throw it on second and nine. Doesn't like what he sees. Playmaker down the field. It's picked up by the user. He'll have to throw it out of bounds and face another third down against this Jay Bird defense that has been absolutely swarming. Great defense once again by Jaybird. It's been a constant throughout this game here tonight. He's trying to flip this bunch formation, and Jaybird continues to keep his defense aligned right here. Now he's getting a little bit lazy, though. You saw that he was trying to match nickel versus strength, and uh, now he's out of alignment. You see he's he's kind of hovered on that nickel corner. Free the rusher, right but there. great recognition by Saint. That is one of the toughest things, in my opinion, Zan, is when that free rusher comes in knowing where your first read is that can pick up that first down. Yeah, you saw right there, heavy blitz, and he, uh, you know, he had the streak out of the backfield to Sayers. That's a great check down against a lot of these edge blitzes because, especially if you're running a cover two shell, you want to blitz the edges. That's usually your vertical hook defender. So if you could go streaking up the seam out of the backfield like he did there with Sayers, you could pick up the first down. Now a second and seven for Saint as we're nearing the two minute warning. Gun bunch, Rogers dropping back to pass, free rusher one more time. This one went for the low pass. It, it, it bounced off of it looked like one of his own linemen's. Noggin's going to face a third and seven. Let's see if he can pick this up. Bunch to the right side, one alone to the left side. Rogers dropping back to pass. Three-man rush. It's about to get there. Throws it. Oh, he clicked on and jumped in front of Jaybird in user coverage. That looked like a pick, and Saint turned it into a completion. That's one of the... That's one of the tougher breaks in the game right there. You saw that he had the user all over that route. Like you said, though, good quick on to try to swerve in front and pick that off. The issue is most of the animations picking the ball in Madden are running away from the quarterback. So if you can click on and undercut it, a bad read can be turned into a completion. Big shout out to play to win 83 with the four months of subscribing. First and 10, two-minute warning. Saint on the drive looking to reclaim the lead. The defending champ, though, down by four. Rodgers in the shotgun. Gun bunch. Sayers on his left hip. Drops back. It's an all-out blitz, and he has an open receiver. That's Ross, who stays in bounds. He thought he went out of bounds. Faked out Jaybird by standing still. He's going to hit the end zone. John Ross, the speedster, with a little footwork on the sideline. Saint back on top. Unbelievable stick work right there by Saint to keep his bounty alive. He takes the lead, extra point up and good. Three point ball game, a minute 51 to go. And now Jaybird, who's been passing the ball well, has the drive of his life right now. A chance to win $1,000 in the first round of Friday Night Football. Oh, Zan, was that sticky? Was that glitchy? What was that? Thought everybody thought he was out of bounds, including the two players with the sticks. I have no idea what I saw. I saw him throw the drag right there. I thought he was walking out of bounds, somehow stayed in bounds, and he waited on the defender to rally up, and he just outsticked him. Covered the ball, protected himself against Jamal Adams, made himself small, and about 50 yards later, he's got the lead. Heavy hitter in the chat said, this got me hyped. You got to be hyped for Friday night football. It's only round number one. Rodgers dropping back. Jaybird looking to get back on top. He wants that $1,000 in Rocket Mortgage Blitz cash. Dumps it off underneath. That's Gale Sayers, but not a whole lot there. Clock stopped. And guys, let's give you an update of what's going on around Friday night football. Timor takes down Stiff 23 to 10. Rage takes down Fitzmagic 21 0. Beast Mode Mac takes down Justin 31 14. BG Fam takes down Strafing 20 to 7. And Young Tony takes down Mr. Football and is into the second round. Sayers with the carry. He's got some room past midfield, nearing field goal range. And Zan, what is the mindset right now for Jaybird? Is he looking for six or does he? Think back to not taking that field goal at the end of the first half and think about taking it here. Can't look back to what you did in the first half right here. He's in a good spot. I'll tell you what's on his mind is uh, Gail Sayers is gassed. He burned a timeout right there to get him back in the blue. Good decision. Short rosters on salary cap. If you run a player on red, there's a high chance you'll fumble, and we've already seen that Sayers has fumbled the ball once in this ballgame. As Sayers with the carry right up the middle. 
Picks up for second and six. That runoff takes the clock down to nearing the one-minute mark. Sayers, one more time, right up the middle. Picks up a first down to the 31-yard line, 58 seconds and counting, and this becomes a question of how do you manage the clock both offensively and defensively. I'm still waiting for the tight end to show up on that delay fade. I feel like that's going to be the backbreaker of this game for Saint if Jaybird is to score here on this drive. Now he's starting to work this run game out of this single back wing stack. I, I like that now he's he's established the pass game from this formation. He's kind of got Saint on his heels a little bit, and now he's just kind of chipping away, getting himself closer to the end zone here down the stretch. Clemson boy with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. And we've got a barn burner here in round number one. Rodgers under his center. Jay Bird down by three to the defending champ, Saint. It's a $1,000 game for Jay Bird. Can he come up with... The plays at the end of the game to put that Rocket Mortgage Blitz cash in his pocket. Two wide receivers over the left side, two tight ends on the right side. Gail Sayers in the backfield. Marvin Harrison in motion from left to right. 32 seconds remaining in the game. How about bringing back the other way? Rodgers drops back to pass. Three-man rush from Saint. Not getting home. Rodgers rolling right. Waiting. Looking. Playmakers RB up the field. It's covered well. Rodgers will step out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Picks up six. And while that might be a disappointing play, Zan, you've got to think that's a real smart play from Jay Bird, not trying to force the ball somewhere and turn the ball over. I can see Jay Bird's wheels turning in his head right there. He's thinking, do I release the tight end drag over the middle? What do I do? Do I want a playmaker? Nah, great decision right there. Steps up with Rodgers and puts himself in third Ooh. manageable. Now he's got Ooh. a first down. And Sayers picks up the first down. No timeouts remaining for Jay Bird. This is dangerous. And with that runoff, he's got to know how much time it's going to take for the line to get back and for him to get another playoff with only 17 seconds left. It would take some guts, but don't be surprised if Saint sends everyone. Now he's going to drop everyone. He doesn't want to lose Drops the ball three. game right here. Rodgers rolling, waiting. 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Looks for, oh, oh bad no. timing. Ball hockey had the seal, and he jumped it too early, hitting that Y button too early. Oh, Jay Bird almost just threw away the game, but he stays alive by the hair that used to be on Zan's chinny chin chin. Wow. I mean, bad timing ball hawk right there. You see exactly what he did. He tried to flash in front of the post route. He probably pressed Y, thinking that that was the window he's going to throw to. Realized that wasn't the case. And then when he goes to Lurka Reed later on in the ball game, he or in the play, he ends up getting the drop. Bad timing user. I, I, I call it a good user is what I call it. He flashed in front of multiple windows, and he paid for it. Drunken Ramzo with the sub. Appreciate it. Answer me this, Ann. Why was he spiking the ball there twice on second and third down as this to tie the ball game up? Ball is down. The kick is up. And Jaybird ties it up at 17. Uh, I think maybe he thought that the spikes would take more time off the clock than they actually do. So uh, he was just going to spike it and hope that it took a little bit of time off. But you can see there's five seconds left. Anything could happen right here. The kick is away. The little pooch kick to the left side. Sayers is going to catch it magically with his back to the ball. Winding, weaving. Oh, oh, the ball is out. One second left. Oh, the clock is going to run out. And we're going to head to overtime. Fives up in the chat as we've got OT action in the Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash game. Round number $1,000 on the line. And we have had a whole lot of momentum swings in. I'm going to say it. What if he doesn't spike the ball twice? He's kicking a game-winning field goal for $1,000 right now. Unbelievable. And it's going to be Jay Bird's going to win the toss and he is going to get the ball to start overtime. And we know what this meta has done with the run game. He's going to be able to run this clock down. So it's going to be up to Saints defense to get a stop to stay alive to keep the hopes of back to back Friday night football championships alive. I like where Jay Bird's at right now. I mean, he's got all the momentum. He just needs to play smart. You saw the last time he put the ball in the air, really bad decision, got bailed out by a bad timing user pick. And we got $1,000 on the line in OT in round one. Would you have it any other way, Nick Mazesco? Oh, it's as good as it gets. Rogers dropping back. How about Jay Bird? He's going for the bomb. Looking over the top one more time for Cooks. He's got it. Cooks has it. 1K in his pocket. Jay Bird knocks out the defending champ. He gets himself that 